I sat down with Hunter College student Daniel Mazzilli to talk about his experience at the school. Here's what Daniel wishes he had known before arriving at Hunter. Friends are seasonal. Students live all around New York City, so everyone has a unique experience commuting to and from school. Those who live in student housing are surrounded by their classmates more often, but the residence halls are too far from the actual campus to feel very connected to the school. This all makes randomly encountering classmates outside of class unlikely. Athletic facilities. Hunter does not have sports fields of its own. Play is organized at pre-existing fields, but Hunter's own facilities are more tucked away. Some spaces, including the basketball courts, are in underground gyms with no windows. While these gyms are air-conditioned and in fine shape, they can take some getting used to. Athletes are advised to do some research of their own on the facilities and make sure they will have everything they need at Hunter. Free printing. Hunter undergraduates receive 300 pages of free printing per semester at the Student Resource Center. More than just a perk, this saves students a good deal of money as well as offering convenience and reliability. Because the Resource Center is open and staffed nearly all day Monday through Saturday, its printers are less likely to malfunction than a consumer printer you keep at home. The Resource Center itself is a good thing for incoming students to be aware of. Getting around is easy. While being in the middle of a bustling part of Manhattan means Hunter does not have its own campus culture, it does come with advantages. The school is very accessible via Manhattan's top-notch public transit. The six-train line of the subway brings you right to Hunter's door. The stop is even named for the school. And once you are inside one of the school buildings, getting from place to place is even easier. There is no average Hunter student. Perhaps the most important part of Hunter's emerging in New York City, rather than its own, is the diversity it brings. People come to Hunter from all over and all ages. There's no dominant demographic and everyone is bound to take classes with people from very different backgrounds and who may be in school for different reasons. So while it is true that the social portions of college do not come automatically at Hunter, one's time there is not spent away from the world one enters upon graduation and is as such both academic and life training. So for more tips and tricks on colleges and universities, check out our website.